welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and getting plenty of crafting in. Today's a stitch with me and I'm going to be working on this kit that I got from One Day Saving that I unboxed this morning. Well, I didn't unbox it this morning, but you guys saw it this morning. So I went and printed off a better picture so you could see that it looks a lot better than the original that came in the, um, the cross stitch kit. So um, grab yourselves a project. Grab yourselves a drink and I'll stitch away on this while we have a chat. Just got to roll this up in my fingers because this fabric is humongous. So it's hard trying to um, just work on one tiny section. Anyway, like I said, I hope you're all well and uh, looking after yourselves. Whether he has, I don't know, it's just made a massive leap. Last week we'd have a hot day, then we'd have a really naff rainy one or just a generally cooler one. Um, then we'd have a hot day, then two days, you know, one of rain, one just grey and miserable. And then yesterday and today has been sticky warm, you know, when you just feel really sticky from the heat. That's what it's been like. Um, we have a thermometer in the front room and it already says 27 degrees. It's crazy. Obviously that's just indoors. But I'm not a fan of heat. I can warm myself up much easier than I can cool myself down. So. Um, I mean, we do have one of them massive parasols we put in the garden to keep the sun off you, but it's just so close outside that I don't even like to do that at the moment. And um, we had a high a few days ago of 28 degrees, I think. Now, I know America has a lot warmer. They can go up to like 40 degrees or something like that. And um, I applaud you guys. I don't know how you do it. We hit nearly 30 and I'm already not coping. <laughs> anyway, it's nice I suppose, you know, you can have all your doors and windows open and but then it's just it's just too warm to do anything, isn't it? Anyway. I oh, wrong one. I had my appointment at the dentist on Monday. I um, broke a tooth a while ago and she did something called a root canal. And it depends who you talk to as to what kind of feedback you get about root canals. I've spoken to one who said I'd never have one done again, I've had nothing but trouble since I had it done and then someone else has been like yeah it worked, it's, you know I've not had any trouble with it since. Now I've already had a root canal done before and touch wood, touch me head. Um, I've never had an issue with it since. So I wasn't too fussed this time about having the same thing done. Um, so the last time I went to see it, she um, drilled away at the tooth, killed all the nerves, and then put a temporary filling in there. Because obviously, like she's waiting for the, the nerves and everything to die down. And, what have you, on my next appointment, I think it was something like six weeks after the first one. So when I went on Monday, she asked me if I wanted to be numbed. She said, you shouldn't feel anything because we've been in there, you know. We've killed all the roots and stuff, the nerves. Um, Do you want to be numbed? I said, if you say it's not going to hurt, I'm quite happy just to go with that. So she said, okay, saves five minutes. Um, anyway, she drilled out the old filling, and then it, I don't even know what it is, but it's like it's almost like a brace they fit around your tooth, so they've got something to kind of go off for filling it in. Only as she went to um, push it around my tooth, I felt it. Oh my gosh, did I feel it! And she says, "Okay, we'll numb you up." She said, "You shouldn't really be feeling anything because you know we've been in there. She spent fifteen minutes, I swear." going in and out the tooth with these little, I don't know, we'll call them drill bits just for the sake of, when you're lying on a chair, that's what they look like. 
and then she kept like up in the size and she'd go in again so I'm surprised it hurt so she numbed it gave it a couple of minutes and then she went back in just I think trying to get out remnants of the old filling but she must have caught a nerve that isn't it's not dead and it hadn't got numbed so she says right okay and um, she did something real quick in there I think that's to kill the root of that one um, and she says, right, I'm sorry to, you know, inform you, but you're going to have to come back again. Um, I will give it a little while now to kill that last remaining nerve. So she temporarily filled it. And I've got to wait now till August. Uh, the very, very beginning of August, I think it is. So I've just got another temporary filling in there for now it's all good fun isn't that what they say I'm not a fan it's not the dentist I don't like I can't say that my dentist's really lovely she's ever so good it's the needles I don't like Um, they're big and they scratch a lot I'm used to you know the um the needles that the nurses take your blood with i'm used to them they don't bother me anymore it's just the dental needles i don't like and the butterfly needles i think that's what they're called you know the ones they put in the back of your hand for um surgeries and stuff and putting antibiotics into you i don't like them either they hurt really bad When I uh, went in for my shoulder operation, the nurse, um, I was lying on the bed waiting to have the butterfly needle put in and the mask and everything. And she said, do you want me to stay? Because she said, I'm going to go now. And I must have, I don't know, looked a bit weird. And she says, do you want me to stay? Yes, I said, I don't like needles. Uh, so she stayed, she stood by me, bless her, she held my hand, and you know, I'm a 40 odd year old woman. And this nurse, bless her, stayed and held my hand. And you know, a couple of minutes after holding it, while they were just um, wiping down the back of my hand, ready to get it put in, she says, oh my, you really are afraid of needles, aren't you? And it wasn't until she said that, I noticed that I was actually physically shaking. <laughs> I don't think that's one needle I'll ever get used to, ever. It is just quite painful. And then to top it off, um, I had to look it up afterwards because no one said anything to me. But when I woke up, my needle was in the other hand. So they must have taken it out of this one and put it in this one. And I never thought anything of it. But as they were knocking me out, he was putting in this needle in the back of my hand. He was pushing the fluids through, I think. And I had this, oh my god, this intense pain in the back of my hand. It was horrific. It was that bad. The mask that was on top of my face. Um, I was um, breathing pretty hard with it. In the hopes that it was going to be that that knocked me out. I don't know what it is they give you. It could be just oxygen, but... Um, it, the pain was so bad I just wanted to fall asleep pretty quick anyway when I looked it up when I got home it's a common thing to happen if they um, push I think it was if they push the fluid through your hand too fast it um, ruptures the vein or something like that and as if I wasn't afraid of the needles afraid of needles enough that goes and happens and it just sets me back by the way, you can already tell I have been on it already. Working this brown 301. It's a gorgeous coppery colour. I quite like it. Let's try and hold it slightly differently because it makes your hand ache after a while because you're trying to hold all this. It's not stiff, stiff, but it is stiff. Fabric in your hand. So you get cramp in your fingers and your hand and... So you have to shift around a bit to kind of hold it. 
Ellie said, why didn't I put it in a frame? And I said, just because it's quite stiff and a frame restricts me as to how far across I can go. Unless I keep moving the frame, of course, but I don't want to keep doing that like four or five times on one piece in one day. So I just hold it in hand and I can just unroll it and roll it back up as I need to. It works. Um, no, there. Poor Ellie got sunburned yesterday. Um, we were stripping her hair of, my goodness, the black and the red colour that was on her hair. She wanted to change it. So we put the colour remover on. Oh my goodness, where is that hole? It won't go, there it is. Yeah, we were stripping her hair of the, the red and the black that was already on it. And when you do that, you're supposed to cover her hair in cling film. And she should sit somewhere where it's warm, where there's no draft. So I said, you know what, just the sun was blaring. There was barely a breeze. Just go and sit outside. But I did say to her, put a towel over your neck. So the back of your neck doesn't burn. She didn't listen. It burned. So I've been applying after sun. <laughs> yesterday and today but I've noticed with Ellie like on the back of her neck she keeps getting and it's not even a rash it's not like spots but like it's like her skin raises and it goes red and the itch drives her insane absolutely insane I've tried like Aqueous cream E45, you know, the non itch or whatever it's called, it's just to help your skin stop itching. It doesn't work, I don't know what it is. So, but here's the thing it, it, it comes and goes, it can be there one day and then she won't suffer again for a few days, and then she'll get it for two, three days where it drives her insane, and then it's gone again. It's like it is really weird. I wonder if it's got anything to do with allergies because she keeps getting um, hay fever and I say hay fever, you know, like sneezing, runny nose, runny eyes. But then she doesn't always take an allergy tablet. And I say, look, you're supposed to take it even if you're not in the, you know, you're not suffering from it because when you stop. You get the symptoms. Keep taking the tablet, it keeps the symptoms away, see? I'm trying to bend this over so I can see. Tuck in behind there. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm also going to have to restrict my Facebook as well because I keep getting random friend requests and then when I accept them it's like they send me a message oh have you heard about this money that everyone's entitled to and oh, it drives me insane and I've just out of the corner of my eye saw something pop up on my tablet and which is where my Facebook is and it some woman again she sent me a message hi how are you um you know and then when i don't respond because i know where it's going she just sent me a message why are you not talking to me so i'm gonna have to um i don't know set up a question type thing you know so i know that the only people on my facebook are people that subscribe to me on youtube and then I don't get these random, you know, is that in focus? I can't see. It's 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to everyone who is a um, subscriber, if you have um, made friends with me on Facebook, just shoot me a message. Let me know that you're one of my subscribers and I won't delete you because I think I'm going to have to do that. My blanket that I planned um, to finish last week because I took the week off from Flush Tube, didn't I? And my plan was to finish. Oh no, my blanket that didn't pan out. <laughs> I ran out of the light grey. Now I thought, and so did Rob, that it, we'd bought a few balls of that enough to last. Well, as it turns out, I obviously didn't, and I ran out. So I've had to kind of colour match and don't say it's perfect, but it's my blanket. It really isn't going to matter. That's what I think anyway. So I've got another 89 rows left to do. Uh, I think at the beginning I had 161, so I got nearly halfway. So I'm going to try and um, pull that out again one of the evenings and see if I can't um, get rid of a few more rows if I'm lucky guys I apologize I've kind of got you resting near my legs okay I'm gonna have to unroll this now just by one and try not to knock you guys at the same time there we go So have you guys been up to much the past week? Uh, us, not much. Um, I really need to get in the doctors. I am so, so exhausted. I averted a migraine last night. I felt it coming on, so I popped all the painkillers I could and went to bed. And thankfully, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, oh, I think it was about six something, it was gone. Mm. So, thankfully, it didn't have it, um, amount to anything, not like last week. I think I learnt my lesson last week. Last week, I kind of put it off thinking, is it, isn't it? And here's the daft thing I know what a migraine feels like compared to a headache, so I should have known. But I kind of dithered. Yeah. So, this week also, um, I can't believe it's been a year since the last time. It's the anniversary again this week of my mum's passing. Can you believe that? It doesn't feel like a whole year ago. I was saying to you guys, you know... It's the 20 year anniversary this year and yet here we are again, um, 22nd today I think it is, so 23rd Friday, Friday is the 21st year anniversary of my mum's passing, so anyway I was going somewhere with this, um, I have been working on my mum's um, Yellow Rose, Roses and Lace, that's what it's called. Um, design by Shannon Christine Designs. So I've been working on that uh, yesterday, day before, and this morning. I'm going to get back on that this afternoon. Um, I've got to hurry it up though because it's on 40 count. Okay, I'm doing one over two. So one strand of floss over two um, threads of fabric. So it's the equivalent of 20 count, but it feels so much smaller than that. And I've discovered the only time I can work on it is in a morning when my eyes are completely fresh. Um, I'm not tired. Well, I am tired, but like, you know, not, not tired like I am in the afternoon. 
so I found the best time to work on it is in the morning when my eyes are fresh and it, it works but you know it can it does tend to cause my eye strain my eyes to strain because it is quite so small so I'm trying to hurry it up so I can get it finished um, yeah so I don't have to work on 40 count again I think my maximum would be 36 36 what's on 36 I have a 36 uh, it's either my Mirabilia or what's the other one my temperature butterflies temperature butterflies my tongue does not want to work this morning this afternoon even I think 36 is my Mirabilia hmm anyway my point is 36 I can work with so I think from now on I will stick to anything up to 36 count so I'm going to try and um, work a lot on that in the next uh, couple of weeks to try and push it along and get it finished and then if I do decide to stitch it for my brother and my sister too I can pick a different count <laughs> sister went to Egypt last week or she spent 10 days I think so it was like I think it was a Tuesday or a Wednesday she went to the airport and flew out and she flew back Sunday into Monday she had a whale of a time she brought me a ornamental sarcophagus I think that's the word for him you know when you open the thing with a little mummy inside she bought me one of those. It's quite pretty, actually. Um, bless her, she didn't have to. And then my dad's in Zanti at the moment. He's out there for, I don't know, a week or two, maybe. But anyway, she had a good time. Whoops, not. She was trying to convince me I need to experience flight. I said, I like my two feet firmly on the concrete. Thank you. She said, it's not that bad. She says, they only want bad flights she had. Because it was four flights, I think, two out there and two back. One of those flights, they had turbulence, she says, and it was a bit, you know, hairy. But uh, she said, but I'm still here and I'm still standing talking to you. Well, that's all right. That's good for you. Don't know. I'm not going on a plane. <laughs> no way. There's too many accidents for me to feel comfortable going on a plane. You know, and then the whole 9-11 thing, which was horrific. I just... I'd rather stay in my own country. I like my country. I like Wales. Scotland I've never been to. I'd like to go to Scotland to watch. Is it the military tattoo? Something like that. I know my dad's been a couple of times. And like when you go on um, YouTube, you can find videos of the military tattoo that takes place in Scotland. And I'd like to see the Northern Lights as well, which you can see apparently from the tip of Scotland. So... That'll be about as far as I'm going. I've been to Wales. I've been all the way down south in Cornwall and Plymouth. Um, I just need to go to the top now and visit Scotland. It looks a beautiful place. Lots of mountains. I would like it.
be one heck of a road trip. I mean, it took me four hours just to get from here down, right down the very bottom to Plymouth for when my brother got married a couple of years, no, a couple of years ago, nope, several years ago. Um, not the, um, not the one he's married to now. He did actually marry the mother of his kids, but she did the dirty on him and he found out later on on his um, evening do after the wedding. So that didn't last five minutes. But anyway, they got married down in Plymouth because that's where they were living. So it took me four hours to get down there. So Scotland would be um, one heck of a drive. I apologise if you can hear that. My windows are wide open because it is scorching. And out the back of mine, in case you're new to my channel, we live behind a row of shops. And obviously out the back of ours is the loading bay for all those shops. So we get vans, lorries, trucks, you name it. We get them all down the back. So you will hear them from time to time when I do my videos and stuff. So I'll apologise now. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. We did joke once because um, obviously the bin men that service the shops are different to the bin men that pick up, you know, domestic household waste. Uh, and they used to come on a Saturday morning. Now Saturdays was the only day we ever got to just have a bit of a lie in. And that was the only day the bin men turned up at half five, six in the morning. So we rung them up, you know. And we were quite civil with them and said, look, you know, it's Saturday, six o'clock in the morning, half five, really? Um, and we did have a bit of a joke and a laugh with her about putting slippers on the, you know, <laughs> on the bin wagons, just to make it a little quieter. Bless them, though, they changed the bin day just for us. I think they come on a Monday now. It's Monday or Wednesday, I know it's around our bin day. I'm just going to fill in these last ones. I quite like this colour and to be fair, I'm enjoying this kit. Whoops. I do have some more on the way, so there will be more unboxings. Come on, I don't want to unroll you anymore. I've only got four here. <laughs> Let's just move that a little bit. Does anybody else? I don't know if it's the same for another country, but if you're a 90s child in the UK, um, I was a mad read it when I was young I loved I still do I absolutely loved reading my mum loved that about me because she was a big reader too so you know um but in the 90s there were these uh, book, book series called Point Horrors which turned I think later on into Goosebumps now I had a ton of these Point Horror books and I am gutted that I got rid of them you know because it would have been Nice just to hang on to them and Ellie could have read them. There was one I had, um, it was three in one. My mum bought it me for something like my 15th birthday or something. Um, it could have been earlier than that, I don't know. But it was a three in one. Now, when I was at college, I lent it to a friend. Um, and it just so happened I never saw that friend again. And I was gutted because that was the book my mum bought me, you know. And I look back and think, mum's not here anymore. I've got loads of things my mum brought me still that I've kind of hung on to. So it's not, you know, majorly important, but it would have been nice. So I've got quite a bit done. <laughs> I think I'd just done this and this when I first started. And I've gone all the way across there bin wagons, noisy things. Okay, why have I got that there? 
I obviously didn't pull it through properly. Okay. So I'm not going to jump anywhere else. Otherwise I'm going to end up with huge floats on the back. Oh, I also noticed Haid were having a sale yesterday and I missed it. I got the email, but because I went to bed early, I never noticed it till this morning. So, gutted. Because there's a couple of uh, Mandy Manzano ones I would have really, really liked during the sale. So I'll have to keep an eye out for the next one and make sure I don't miss it. Not that I haven't got enough to be getting on with at the moment, you know. Alright then, guys. I said guys again. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go now. I give up trying to not say it. Um, thank you for sitting with me while I worked on my... Um, to my husband kit. I am enjoying this one, so you'll probably see this one a bit more. Um, I know it's only a stitch and chat, or a stitcher of me or whatever, but I will put links to this in the description box, just in case. Um, as well as my discount code to one day saving, just in case you want to go and use it. Um, I hope you've uh, got some crafting in with me while I've been chatting away. Uh, but that's it. As always, guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.